Hi YouTube, Miles from Nexus Core here. We got Bruce. Um, this is the Dark States deck, the, the the one from the anime. Richard, roll any clip from the entirety of the Vanguard anime when I say that. Um, <laughs> so your ride line is these guys. Uh, you got to get the ones with the mashing artwork. Um, no, uh, okay. So you run Diablo's Innocent Matt. Kind of doesn't matter, but you know whatever. Uh, it's the standard starter. It's just when you ride, uh, if you go second, draw. Um, what does matter are these three. So we run for the grade one. Uh, Diablos Bad Steve. Its skill is when this unit is placed on Vanguard, choose a card from your soul, call it out to rear guard, and then soul charge one. So you basically turn Matt into a forerunner and then get a soul off of it. Um, then you run Diablos Anger Richard. So... Richard's skill is when it's placed on Vanguard, uh, put a rear guard into the soul. So basically, you just shove Matt back in and then draw. So within turns one and two, you're getting an additional soul and an additional draw. Um, very helpful. And then finally, we run the one uh, Diabolus Violence Bruce. Its skill is uh, at the start of your turn, sorry, at the start of your ride phase, you final rush, meaning that. You just, you as the player enter Final Rush. It's like a state. Uh, but um, Final Rush is just, if, if you're in it, uh, any card that has a Final Rush skill can activate. So Bruce's Final Rush skill is uh, when it attacks, uh, if you're in Final Rush, Soul Blast 5 and then stand all front row rear guards. Uh, so nice for some extra attacks. Um, the only thing about Final Rush is it only activates on your ride phase, at the beginning of your ride phase, so you can't use Bruce's skill the turn you ride him. Or at least the turn you ride him for the first time. Uh, so going into grade threes, you run the other three Bruce, obviously. You want to be able to Persona ride. Uh, four Upward Acrobat Marjorie. So this is a great card. I strongly urge you to run four of her. Her skill is when this unit attacks once per turn, if you are in final rush, put a unit, put one other rear guard um, into your soul, draw a card, soul charge one, and this unit gets 10k until end of turn. And that can create some very fun loopy plays with uh, your other another card in the deck. Um, run four Hellblast Full Dive. You've got to run this card. It's too good. It's an order card, uh, grade three. So to use it, you have to counterblast one. Uh, you get to draw a card, but then you must choose a card from your hand and call it to rear guard. Um, then if you're in final rush, all of your front row units get plus 10K until end of turn. Um, so it's like for the units you currently have on the board, it's just an additional persona ride, but it adds some really nice power. I mean, 10K is very threatening on top of everything else. For grade twos, run four uh, Diablos Jetbacker uh, Lenard. So this card, like, makes the deck. He's really, really good. Um, let's see. His skill is... His first skill is if you're in Final Rush, this unit gets 5k. And when it would attack, it battles all your opponent's units in a column. So what that means is you can swing in an entire column and hit both of them, which helps its other skill. Uh, when this unit's attack hits, Soul Charge 1, and if your Vanguard is Diabolus Violence Bruce... Pick a card from your soul and call it to rear guard. Call it to an open rear guard. Um, that's on a once per turn. So if you hit a full column, this unit gets 10k, meaning it's 10. Let's say you persona road, uh, it'll be 20. You use Hellblast Full Dive, that's 30. 35 off of its own skill. It becomes 45k when the attack hits. Which is, that's good. Wait, hold on. I misread that. I thought it gained power when it hit. No, never mind. I can't read. Um, no, just that like the the effect can proc off of both skills. Uh, you're only going to use it once, but I do believe that you get the soul charge twice. Because if you if you hit, it says choose up to one card to call out from rear guard. So you would hit once, choose zero, then you hit again, choose one. So you can get two soul chargers off of it. That's what I meant to say. Not the, not the 5k. 5k would just get from the final rush. Uh, then run to Diablos Boys Eden. This card's pretty good. Um, 
Its skill is if you are in final rush, this unit gets 5k. Uh, and if it's if it's stood this turn by a uh, card effect, it gains a crit. So if you use it in tandem with D uh, with uh, Bruce, you just have some nice on hit pressure. Um, this deck doesn't run crit, so the crit is actually super helpful. Uh, then its second skill isn't bad either. It's when this unit's attack hits counterblast one, choose one of your opponent's rear guards and retire it. It's honestly really nice being able to target literally any rear guard. Uh, so it's that's still a pretty good skill. Um, for grade ones, you have to run for Proto Bulb Dragon. This is a great card and allows you to play uh, some of the combos in this deck. Um, and also just set up for future turns. Its skill is when this unit attacks or boosts, if you are in final rush, counterblast one, put another rear guard uh, into your soul, choose a card from your soul and put it into your hand. So it can help you clear the board for uh, targets to call for a uh, Leonard skill, um, but you can also grab just stuff from your soul that you might need in that situation, whether that be a PG if you soul charged it or a, you know, a, a trigger for defense. Um, although if you have a PG, I would probably choose that one instead. Uh, or like, Lenard, if you didn't see him, just whatever you might've gone like, ah, oh, shit, I need that card, but I accidentally soul charged it. Proto Bulb is there for you. Um, and then another good one is grabbing a copy of Bruce to ensure a Persona ride. So you can actually just keep looping Persona rides with this card. So please run four. Uh, I run three monitoring gear Dober. Its skill is at the end of the battle that this unit boosted. If you're in final rush, uh, put this unit into soul and then choose one of your other units and it gets 10K. Not a bad card. The additional soul's nice. You can keep using, reusing it with Proto Bulb and just the additional 10K to a unit, um, you know, like before you use Bruce's skill to restand can really help. Then I run two Acrobat Presenter. It is very important to fill up the soul. Oh, let me let me explain the skill first. But it's um, when this unit attacks or boosts, if your Vanguard is Diablo's Violence Bruce, Soul Charge 1. And if you're in Final Rush, Soul Charge 1. So basically, if both of those conditions are met, it's Soul Charge 2. And it doesn't need to boost, it can attack as well, which is just helpful. Um, if the game goes on for too long, be careful, uh, it is both our mandatory soul chargers if you meet the conditions, so like, don't boost slash attack with them if you, you know, can afford to, because you might deck out. Um, that's a big if though, because this deck can kill pretty quickly, so like, I wouldn't worry too much about it, but, you know, it's a fair, don't say I didn't warn you. Um, it's important you're, you're gonna want probably to you you're probably gonna wind up using bruce's skill like twice in a game um so having 10 soul total is extremely important and this also just the kind of random soul charges for it allows you to kind of give yourself more options than what you might not want to soul charge out like leonard proto bulb Ge uh gear dober another bruce PGs, you know, it just it just gives you more options. You only need two of it though, because it's like, it's helpful but not, it's not immediately necessary. Not seeing it won't won't necessarily hurt you. Uh, then I run for recusal hate dragon. It's just the PG. Uh, same thing as all of them. If you have two or less cards in hand, we use it. It's free. And now we got triggers. Uh, you run the dark states over trigger. Uh, what's it called again? Um, Hades dragon deity of resentment galmage held. Its additional effect is you get, during your turn, all of your vanguards get 10k, an additional crit until end of the fight. So basically, every single time it comes around to your turn, your vanguard is sitting at plus 10k in a crit, which becomes very threatening. And if you see it like turn one, that's really cool. Um, around four, Diablos Girls uh, Natalia, that's messy. Her, uh, she's the front trigger with the skill, um, if your vanguards, on, on Guardian Circle, if your vanguards grade, if your opponent's vanguard is grade 3 or greater, god, this unit gets 5k shield, so just 20k, nice guard. Uh, for heal, I run Diablo's Girls Ariana. And then I run for the, I actually run 7 draw, and that's between Diablo's Boys Jake and... Vital Cleaver. Um, I run that many draws because there are, there's like a big play you can make that you want to get turn four when you're in final rush. So 
having more draws is super important to see those cards because it's like it requires like protobull marjorie hellblast full dive um and what's the name leonard at least uh for more impact you want to also see well no it's 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 not necessarily hellblast full dive but for more impact you want to see hellblast full dive and additional bruce and then like a few more like proto you want to see geared over but it's like to get the most out of the deck, I would just recommend running more draws. You can kind of try out crits if you want, but honestly, the front trigger is super helpful because you literally restand your entire front row, and the draws just help you get your resources. So, if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. If I'm right, then praise me. Um, and if you made it this far... What should we tell them, Richard? I'm not here. Okay, I got it. <laughs> Yeah, Richard had to go away. No, but anyway, thank you guys. That's the video. Um, admire my SPs and send me an SP Bruce. Uh, but I think that's about it. So, goodbye.